In this video, we're going to look at the repeat function. Uh, if we start the study here, so by clicking on the, the start button down at the bottom left, you can see it starts the time, and I hit the time, and it moves from element to element because I've got my repetitive study set up here. If I get to the pack area, though, and let's say he's packing multiple items, what you'd want to do is tap the stylus on the repeat down at the bottom right-hand corner here. And if you do that, you'll see it changes to green. That makes the, the repeat key active. So when I hit the time, it's just going to repeat the current item. So you can see pack as I do each time here. So let's say he does it four times. So at that point, he's packed his last item. You deselect the, um, the repeat key again. It turns back to red. And of course, then it will keep going in sequence here. Right? So you can see it's a way of turning on the repeat key if you do the same thing over and over again. So let's say touch the repeat key, hit the time, keep on going. Right? I've got four on here. You can even go five. Let's say I made five by mistake. Then you can go back and just touch. I'm going to just touch the update order sheet here with my stylus, moving the mouse so you can see it here. And that's going to change it to that. Now, if I don't do anything else, I hit the time. Of course, the update order sheet is going to keep on repeating because the repeat key is on here, right? So what you'd probably want to do is touch the uh, get get work order, which is the next item in here, and turn off the repeat key just by tapping on it again. And then you'll be back into the same sequence. So again, when you want to turn the repeat key on, you tap on the repeat, the red repeat. It changes it to green repeat, which will give you the uh, repeat as many times as you want to tap it. When you're finished, touch the repeat again. That'll turn it off. And then you'll be back into the regular sequence here.